Everyone, welcome back. I heard that muriatic acid will remove melted aluminum away from the cylinder wall. So today we're gonna find out. So our supplies for the day is the muriatic acid from Lowe's. I cut this little bottle of Gatorade so we can pour some of it in there. I watched on another video they used a little toothbrush to try to clean the cylinder wall with it. And then some gloves so I don't melt my hand. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and see if we can get that stuff removed. We got some aluminum melted to the cylinder wall there. And then a big chunk of it right there. See if you guys can kind of see that spot right there. So if we can get that cleaned up, then I know that it doesn't gouge in real bad. Uh, then we'll take this block to the machine shop. But I wanted to just try to clean it up and see how bad it is. So we got the acid. Open it up. This stuff's pretty nasty looking. Whew. Don't want to breathe this stuff in. You can already smell it. Oh, gosh, dang. This stuff is rough. It etches concrete, so we're trying not to get it on the concrete. It was clear. Well, some of the other stuff I saw was like green, so I don't know. I don't know exactly what we got going on, but man, that stuff. That stuff stinks. You smell it? No? No. All right. So we're going to take that. Take my little, little brush. See it doing much yet. Get some of it on there and maybe it's got to set up and then start working. Put some on the big chunk over here. That well, looks like it might be doing something there. If you guys kind of see it, it's bubbling. I don't know if you guys can kind of, yeah, you kind of see it some right down in there. It's, it's bubbling and stuff, so that's pretty. Pretty crazy. This stuff's, this stuff's wild. Definitely don't want to breathe a bunch of it in. It's rough. Oh, wow. That's definitely, definitely taking that away. Let it set up on there for a minute, and we'll check back in on it. So if you guys see, I can kind of puddle it up on there, and it'll start to bubble, bubble up. It's pretty wild. Hopefully this, uh, this works. It's doing something. Hopefully I still have an engine block when we get done. We're gonna find out. Oh, your nostrils <laughs> dead yet? Yeah. If you smell that, it's pretty strong right over this, but try not to try not to inhale a lot of that. Not a fast process by any means. It just kind of sits there and works at it a little bit at a time. We're gonna take a little paper towel and just start wiping it and see kind of if we're making any progress or not. It seems like we are up along the top. So you can tell it, it looks like it's definitely getting smaller there. Then on this side, we'll see where we're at. Still fill quite a bit, but I think we're making a little bit of progress. Mm, it's a little bit, but it's, there's definitely still quite a bit on there. And it's looking like it's cleaning up along that upper edge, but I'm thinking we gotta, we gotta douse it pretty good with that stuff and let it keep sitting there and eating and eating and eating and work it in there. It's definitely not like you just put a little bit on and it eats it away. It turned the aluminum kind of kind of grayish though on that side. So we'll keep working that too and see how far we can get with it and see if we can get that gone. So far, so good though. It's actually working pretty decent. If you guys can see right there, that's that big hunk and it it's actually split it into two now. It's cleaned out the center part of it. So I've just been dousing the cylinder wall with it, just keeping it wet and you guys can kind of see it bubbling hopefully. Just letting it kind of do its thing. Put some paper towel down there to protect the crank and stuff. So it's definitely not the fastest thing to do, but it's it's actually cleaning up pretty well. So if you're in a pinch and you're trying to get a cylinder wall cleaned up, throw another piston in it, this might work. Not that I'd recommend doing that or whatever, but this way I can know that the cylinder wall looks okay before we take it to the machine shop, paying somebody to like go through it and make sure that it's good. If you knew there was a huge crack or a ding in the cylinder wall, you kind of already know the, the outlook on that. Alex, how's that toothbrush looking? Like shit. <laughs> it's pretty much uh, like gel at this point. Yeah, it's not doing very well. That spot right there is looking super good. It's pretty much almost all gone. This side over here still has quite a ways to go. One of the big reasons for checking this is to make sure that we're not in the cylinder because I don't want to machine it more. Some people just like punch it out a little bit more, but this is already a 4030 on a 408. And much past this, if people start adding a lot of boost to it, you'll find a weak spot in the cylinder wall and crack it. Kind of depends on how the casting and everything. 
There's been multiple people have this issue before, so just trying to stay away from that. If it does get in the cylinder wall pretty much, and then we know we got to sleeve the block, which already has happened once on this engine and really hoping that we don't have to do that again. So we said, screw it. Our uh, toothbrush kind of failed on us. Got the little stainless brush out. And this thing's definitely cleaning it up. You guys can see up along that upper edge. We're starting to get most of it gone and now we're, it's getting smaller. It's getting smaller. We're not making very fast progress, but we're making progress. That's kind of what I'm talking about. If you guys can see right there, there's that little divot. You can kind of see the shadow in the cylinder wall. Hopefully that's just from the stuff around it, but if that actually goes into the cylinder wall, then that might show that that needs to be sleeved. Well guys, we got it pretty much 99% cleaned up. Have some bad news though. Alex wants to do the honors with the light. Oh no. So see if you guys can see it right there. That is actually into the cylinder wall. You can kind of see that upper ring and then it's, it's actually pitted into the cylinder wall right there. Unfortunately, that probably means it needs a sleeve and it gets more expensive when you have to start putting sleeves and stuff. So I really got to decide if I'm going to keep this block, try to do a different block, really get a game plan from here forward. Um, like I said, you don't want to machine these any further than 4030, really. You might be able to machine them a little bit and then put an oversized ring in it. Then if you're going to put a bunch of boost to it, you're going to run the risk of cracking the cylinder wall. So have something to do. Let me know what you guys think. And maybe, you know, maybe clean up the cylinder wall and then just put a piston in it and then have it for Bernie as a backup. I'm not too sure what we're going to do yet. Unfortunately, it's not just going to be clean it up, put a piston in it. Alrighty, so I think that'll be it for this video. Hopefully you learned something. I know we did. I also learned that the motor's not in the greatest shape. So we got some figuring to do in the future. But if you guys want to see more, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.